Hi there, my name is Tiffany and today I'm going to show you an activity you can do when you're feeling overwhelmed or when you feel like you have too many emotions and you don't know how to express them and maybe you just want to learn a little bit more about yourself then this will probably be a fun activity for you. Sometimes even though we're not able to say how we feel, our body knows and can do the speaking for us. So today we're going to have our fingers do the talking through painting. So we're gonna grab some paint and paper to get started. And all you will need is a piece of paper, any kind of paint that you want, what colors. I have blue, purple, and yellow here, but you could choose any color you want. And a plastic bag is optional in case you don't wanna to get too messy. I'm gonna use a plastic bag today because I don't wanna get messy. But basically just put the paper in and I will, show you in a different angle so you can see my painting better. Okay, so you can see the paper pretty clearly here now. It's in my plastic bag so I won't get it dirty or my fingers too dirty, but you can have your fingers dirty however you want. So I'm gonna start because going through my day this morning, so this morning I woke up pretty, I don't know why, but I felt a little bit sad. And that's okay when you feel sad and you don't know why. But since I was feeling a little sad, I am going to put a dot of blue here because I feel like that represents my sadness this morning. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe it a little bit around. So you know, it felt a little messy and I don't know why, but that's okay. It just, that's just how I was feeling. I'm gonna let my fingers do the painting for me. Yep. And you have to choose a color based on what you felt this morning. It can be from what you felt at the moment right now, or maybe even yesterday. If you had a fight with someone yesterday or recently, but felt like it was unresolved still, we can use this activity to walk you through the problems too. Now I'm just going to let my fingers do the talking and take over here and let it move. However, whichever way I think about the feelings I've gone through today, and then I can add a little bit more. I want when I feel like, oh, maybe I need a little bit more here or here. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I let my finger a little smush it up a little. And maybe if you're, you were feeling angry and you wanna kind of smack it a little, get your little anger out, that works too. Kind of just smush it around. All right. But then later in the day, I went to the beach and that really cheered me up. So I'm gonna dip into some yellow here and add it to my painting. Now again, you don't have to add or change colors or go through the day like I am. You can stay with one color, um, just focus on that particular situation you have in mind or emotion and stay with that if you want. But I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow here and there. I'm getting a little messy. But here you go. And then my finger will keep painting just like that. And I feel like I want a little bit more yellow because the beach really did help my day. And I felt like the yellow took over the blue a lot more. This painting is going to look a little bit messy and weird, but that's completely okay. Because that's how emotions are. They're just messy. Never get them perfectly right. But, just like I said, I didn't know why I was feeling sad this morning. And that's fine too. But I just was. And this activity helps me figure out and just see my emotions on the paper. Just like that. So this is just a demonstration. I'm going to stop my painting here, but you can keep going for however long you want. If you want to add a little bit of red, a little bit of purple or whatever colors you want. But for me, I feel like blue and red is good enough for me. So I will stop here and I will change the camera view again so you can see me and we can talk a little bit more about my painting. Okay, 
So this is my final product, which I know looks really messy, but that's okay because I think it represents what I felt today pretty well. Because look at it, you could still see the blue peeking out because, you know, at the end of the day, I did feel sadness in the beginning. But throughout the day, I added these yellows and it covered up the sadness that I was feeling. So I think this this picture represents how I felt in a good, really accurate and good way. And how you see where the yellow and the blue created the screen together. And that just shows that how you can live with so many emotions going on inside of you and how they just mix together and that's perfectly okay. Like sometimes when you are too happy, you cry. So you have these two different emotions going on. Or when you're, you, would, you cry when you're too angry, that happens too. Just it's normal to have all these feelings inside of you and they can co coexist all at once. And sometimes it's messy, just like this. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and, you know, show off your own paintings.